Hi everyone, uh, this is very weird for me, I'm an Italian girl, I'm 21 and I'm not used to um, talk in English but I wanted to make a video for everyone out there I made a list of things I want to talk about, uh, things you need to know before buying from Zaful, you know this will be my fourth year buying from Zafu and in the last three years I learned some tips I want to share with you on how to choose the right bikini for you and things you need to know before buying from Zafu. So I'm here today to talk about it and the first category of things I want to talk about is how to choose the right bikini. So things you need to do to choose the right bikini. So here we are. So the first thing you want to do is watch YouTube videos because there are a lot, a lot of girls that do, you know, try on hauls, they try on bikinis and, you know, seeing bikinis on a person is different than watching just pictures of the bikinis. So you wanna watch the videos, you know, to give yourself a general impression of the styles, of the sizes, you know, watching videos, you can understand a little bit more of what you can expect on the website. So the second thing you wanna do is open the website or the app and read the size chart. You wanna measure yourself, find out which size are you on the website. You know, if you're a small, a medium or a large. They mainly have these three sizes. They don't really go extra small or extra large. So you wanna see kind of where you, where you fit. So the third thing you wanna do is start to search for bikinis you like, uh, start scrolling through the app, you know, save the ones you think are the best for you. But the most important thing you need to know and you need to do is to read the reviews. So reviews are very, very important because when you watch YouTube videos, girls on YouTube are kind of always very pretty, very skinny, you know, most of them wear a size small, but not all of us are a size small. So when you read the reviews, you can find a bigger variety of girls wearing the styles you like. So you can get a more uh, realistic idea of what the bikini looks like on, you know, I'm gonna say a real person, not a YouTuber. <laughs> A very important thing you will find in the reviews is if you have to size up or size down for that bikini. Because maybe if you are, you know, you don't know if you're really a size medium or a size large, you can read that this girl said, you should size up because this bikini is kind of small. So, you know, you have to buy a large. And this is very, very useful. I used it very, very much because I was not sure the first time I bought from Zaful that I was a size large. But um, this way, I found out that I most of the time should size up because these bikinis run kind of small. Another tip I like to give is when you watch a bikini on a girl in a review, you can give yourself an idea on how the color of the bikini looks like on the skin tone of a girl. You can search someone with, you know, a uh, similar to you skin tone and you can understand if that bikini looks good on her, you say, okay, it would probably look good on me. And instead, if you think, oh my God, it's girl, too pale for that pink bikini. You will say, maybe I shouldn't wear a pink bikini. Now for more technical tips, I'm gonna say you wanna make sure that, or at least try to find out and try to uh, look for bikinis that are double layer. So double layer is very important because if you have a bikini which is just one layer, it will be more likely to be see-through. So this is an example of a double layer bikini. So this one I bought the first year. And what I'm gonna show you is that you have two layers of the bikini, uh, you know, on the top part. Another thing you wanna try to find out, you can just watch pictures and you'll understand if the bikinis are adjustable. So they are better if adjustable because 
you know, if you're not really sure of the size or the bikini runs a little bit small or a little bit large, you can adjust it. So, for example, this bikini I have here, it's totally adjustable, so it will be like better because you can make it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. But this is not the only style, you know, you want to look for. This bikini, for example, has adjustable straps on the shoulders but it does not have adjustable you know straps around the waist so they can be totally adjustable slightly adjustable or not adjustable at all like this one the first one i showed you this is completely um not adjustable so another thing I always try to uh, find out is if a bikini has padding or not. I have an example here. This is another bikini and you have uh, the padding inside. I really like padding. I prefer bikinis with padding, but if you do not want padding, most of the bikinis like the one I just showed you has like cuts to, you know, take out the padding. So now I'm going to talk about things you need to pay attention to before buying a bikini. So the first thing you want to pay attention to are white bikinis. So white bikinis are kind of risky because they can be uh, very easily see-through. So just remember that if you like a bikini, just make sure maybe uh, if it has uh, padding, if it is double layered and just read the reviews. Another thing, the second thing you have to pay attention to are high-waisted bikinis. So they are kind of risky too. For example, with my body type, I have to buy a large and I have a smaller waist. When I bought this bikini, this is uh, kind of, not totally, but a little bit high-waisted. And the, this part here, the waist part, it's a little bit big. So I knew when I bought this bikini, it could happen. So just be aware that it can happen to you too if you have a bigger, uh, you know, um, hip measure and a smaller um, waist measure. The third thing you have to pay attention to are... One pieces. So one pieces are very, very, very difficult to buy. I never bought a one piece. I don't really like how it fits on my body type. So I don't have experience to talk about, but just be, you know, prepared that, that they are kind of risky and read the reviews. Always read the reviews and try to find out if girls are just saying this fits good, this fits not so good. So the first thing you want to make sure is that the top part of the bikini covers your boobs. So what I'm trying to say is that, for example, this bikini I have here, you know, it's a regular bikini, but I have slightly bigger boobs, so it is kind of small. So you want to look in the reviews and try to find out if they have the same problem as you. So try to make sure if you have bigger boobs that the top part will cover you. So just that's just what I'm trying to say. Just make sure you're safe when you go in the water with that bikini. Also, another thing you want to make sure is that, for example, some bikinis have a kind of weird shape and the two parts that cover the boobs can maybe be too far away from each other, so you might have a nip slip. And, uh, you know, just remember, try to find out in the reviews. I have a lot to say about tops and boobs, but... Another thing, if you have bigger boobs, you want to make sure it gives enough support. Another thing, it never happened with the bikinis I bought, but I saw this problem in some YouTube videos that girls were complaining that the inside part, which can be, you know, white, can maybe show off uh, if you're wearing the bikini on the outside. So. I'm gonna take a bikini, but this does not have the problem and I'm gonna try to make you understand. So, this is the bikini. Let's say the inside part was white. When you wear it, the inside part could maybe show off like this, so you 
can maybe have the red bikini, uh, you know, lined with the white inside part. And, you know, you just wanna, again, read the reviews, try to find out if, if it happens or not. So I feel like this video will be way too long. So I think I'm gonna end the first part here. I'm gonna make two separate videos. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about things you need to remember before buying from Zafu. And the second thing I'm gonna talk about is how to save some money because you can have really cheap bikinis for less. And I'm gonna tell you how. And maybe I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about my experience with the bikinis I have here. And you know, uh, so for now, I'm gonna say bye and I'm gonna see you in the next part.